What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. And before we fight the Battle of Srinagar though, I have a name request to implement. I'm doing it now so I don't forget. So our named yes. force is here under Curtis Patterson. And the request was for a Royal Highland Grenadier unit. So yeah. this force is slowly becoming that much more um, elite. So this regiment is going to swap and join Jareth Hutchinson. Yes. And this Royal Highland Grenadier unit is going to be called the First Iron Brewers, which, if you're not from the UK, then uh, Iron Brew is a soft drink popularised by uh, by precisely popularised by the Scots, but it's almost a UK-wide thing to popularise the love of it by the Scots, at least. And uh, it's not bad, really. No. <laughs> It's not a bad drink. It's electric orange, which I think is meant the whole, the whole idea meant to be iron rust. Although that could well be, um, could well just not be true anymore. But let's pick up where we left off, and we're going to attack the city of Srinagar because we're going to take the city of Srinagar. We're going to take Kabul. We're going to destroy this weak force here, and then we can push on to Zahedan. Because then, once this is done, that's the the rest of the world has been defeated. We can sail on and attack, bring this force from Hillary Stanley back up to um, Agvatuk to fight the Inuit again, and then we have to send an army to go and attack the Plains Nations, which will probably be my named force. That's probably how I'll do it. Um, but let's not get carried away yet. First of all, we must take Srinagar and destroy this Persian outpost. And they've got... Eh, it's not a bad army. We've got some Gurkhas in there, which should be fun. But they've got not very much artillery, so we can be... Well, because they've got mortars, we're going to want to just advance. Uh, because the issue with mortars is that if their crews abandon the guns, then what ends up happening is that they just fire quick climb from their own heads. It's quite bizarre to watch. I've, I've got a feeling that could be something from Darth Mod itself rather than the base games. I think the base game considers pretty much all mortars, well most of them at least, as fixed units. So let's take our glorious... Hmm, bit of a weird voice break there. Glory... Oh god. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's take our glorious red-coated infantry and advance across the open field towards the enemy. Get our cavalry on the flanks. Pikes advance up the middle to provide any support to who might need it. Yeah, they've deployed cavalry on the flanks, but I don't think it's going to cause it's going to be that much of an issue. Walk my line forward, run my cuirassier up. Sierra engage the camel gunners. The infantry that's here can run. Curassier engage the Zamadari horsemen. Yeah, they killed a bunch of my Curassier with musket fire off the bat, but battle has been joined and they will fall. So I'm fairly sure my fear of Gurkhas in-game is slightly exa over-exaggerated. They're the kind of unit that's... they're not a... like like pike units and other units like that. They're not a problem when they're surrounded, so even though we are advancing into combat with them, I think it won't be that much of a problem. Oh god! <laughs> Curse you, artillery! Curse you! Curse you and the idiot that gave you commands! Yeah, Grenadiers have held up with it quite well. It's the 7th Regiment that didn't like it. But you know who didn't like it even more? The bad guys.
So my grenadiers falling upon the armed populace. Understandably, that unit broke under the charge of the general. New man charge into the mercenaries. Kirasia hit the Kizobashi. Kirasia hit the armed populace. This infantry can take the high ground. You men attack the mercenaries. These are our grenadiers. They're no slouches. They're going to cut their way through the musketeers, no doubt. Uh, you men continue to push. The Hessian line will beat the mercenaries there. New men charge into the armed populace. There we go. The enemy in the center is collapsing. It's going to be grenadiers to turn around and attack the general's bodyguard. My regiment of horse can run around the flank and attack the mortars. Curiosity going to charge downhill into these musketeers here. God, he went f they went flying, and they're broken. Get these troops to charge across the open ground into the musketeers. So this unit must get infantry mercenaries all the way back here. And I was like, yeah, they'll break them. That's the last unit. <laughs> they held on. As futile as it was. Excellent. Such devastation. But there we are. The Srinagar Valley. Captured for the British Empire. And it's another step towards total British victory. So let's repair the government building. Let's get some, let's do some bits and bobs. Sadly, I think the Gurkhas are going to not, they're not going to really play a part in this campaign because most of these, well, all of these, we will um, defeat the enemy <laughs> before any meaningful number of Gurkhas actually join the army. So, Mr. Hardy. Like all of these units are completely surplus to requirements. Well, let us take the city of Afghanistan with the army of Elias Haskett in the glorious 33rd Regiment of Foot. But again, we're going to want to push up because they've got a good, um, a good chunk of mortars, which can do some damage to us if we let them. So we want to push up, be aggressive, and destroy those guns. I think Zahedan is the last. Maratha territory and Esfahan's the last Persian one so there's only excluding Russia because we're not going to attack Russia because I've already defeated it in that little um, alternate universe ending if you like let's put my guns up on the hill to the rear because their range is pretty good it covers most of their deployment zone how it's another story Pikes go up front. Hessian lines secure the town with them. Let's put the bulk of our line on the right flank. And the bulk of our cavalry. Let's give our infantry generic orders. There are men out on the flank the 
they've made it. See, they've they can do some damage when you get enough of these mortars together. Especially when they're undercover. I want to get my rangers up there. They're not deploying into square because there's no space. There we go, they finally found space. Cavalry go down the centre, 33rd. Attack those guns! Pikemen, attack those Pindari horsemen! They might rout under that artillery fire. Yeah, there they go. I don't really want to charge my cavalry in against the... Um, against the uh, camel camel nomads you men form square hessian line swing left against the afghan hillmen get my infantry on into the dervishes you men form line mortars attack the royal indian guards foot artillery attack the Hin garrison hindu warriors to the rear Thirty third foot are routing. You men advance. Run. Huh. How odd to see so many men routing so quickly. Then again, I suppose they are regular pikemen, they're not exactly the A-team. E-men form up. There we go. One howitzer attack ground, quick climb there. Actually, I might make them both attack ground here. Because there's a Hessian line unit that's now surrounded. You men now counter charge. There we go. Quick climb has gone in. It's done a lot of damage to our own Hessian line, but I need to thin out their troops. You broke from a volley from Sikh Musketeers. That was quite impressive. Seek musketeers, charge around the flank into them, keep the cavalry going. The armed populace are there, so you men charge in. You men drop into square. So if we can destroy the armed populace, we can push around and attack the garrison Hindu warriors in the rear. Indian garrison is shattered, the dervishes, dervishes are shattered, this hessian line has returned. Attack the firelock armed populace, get my pikes over onto this flank to attack. No, get my, get, get my men to attack the garrison Hindu warriors. My artillery is doing more 
harm than good at this point. Those mortar units would be good to capture as well. Now you men got caught by the garrison Hindu warriors. Come on. Push past those angry scamps. Yeah, they sense bad things are going to happen. It doesn't help that lots of my men are now stuck attacking up here, but whatever. You're not going to do too well against the Royal Indian Infantry Guards. So we can attack the mortars, that will really help. You men have to attack the remaining... Well, one of you has to come over here and help the Indian Guardsmen. Let's get my general up here. You're all going to have to charge into that garrison unit. You men are going to knock out the warriors. How it says destroy the men in the armory. So you can charge the Indian warriors in the flank. Yeah, we are bringing in reinforcements. These men are sturdy. Bring my another general unit in. Bring my light cavalry away from the fire of the Sikh musketeers. There we go. Try and get these men out on the flank here. Foot artillery also try and engage. Oh, they do have line of sight. Good stuff. I was wondering if the town hall might go in the way. Town hall. Men in the town hall do not like this artillery fire. More cavalry charging in against the Hindu warriors. Cuirassier guard. Yes, that's what I want to see. Yeah, town hall is kind of getting in the way. There we go. Surround and destroy that Hindu garrison unit. Ah, Elias Haskett, you've been with us for so long. Very well. We have another general ready to take the mantle. So you men push one flank. You men plus rangers push another flank. Good stuff. So this infantry unit can do some stuff. Yeah, they're engaging us at range, but that's okay. Uh, General's bodyguard, get him to run over here. Clear up those uh, Afghan hillmen. Horse guard are advancing. No, nope, they've routed. Keep my rangers running around the flank. You men. Keep engaging at range with my artillery, because they, they are in range.
We advance up to cover. Looks like the guns aren't actually firing. Get my Cressier guards out there and give them a pistol volley. Artillery is fired. My howitzers are fired. Twenty-first is upset, understandably. Go on, men. Give them a pistol volley. They're in range. Come on, men. Present to your guns. Actually, I am under... The crossfire from the rangers is doing some bad stuff. Ah, too bad. But yeah, that was, that was a bit dodgy. It was dodgy indeed. But it goes to show. You've got the Indian factions. You give them some territory and somewhere safe where they can get into cover. Elias Haskett's force is... They have lost a great leader. So from this pike unit, we shall get a replacement. Abner Bassett, who's 63. 63-year-old pikeman. Fair play. Fair play indeed. Oh, it looks like with the collapse of Kabul, Zahedin is now owned by the pirates. Hmm. Let's combine all the infant, all the count, all the the uh, the navy, the spare navies here, and then just scupper the fleet. So Curtis Patterson is he is waiting for his he, well, he's now got the movement points to advance up towards Esfahan we've also got this chap who I can sail with a sloop sail him back up to Agvatuk and land off the coast Soon, my precious. Soon. Um, okay. I mean, so many of these armies just aren't needed. Harold Williams, your service was appreciated. Flynn Gardner, you can now rest. Ian Stevenson. Well, let's try not to recruit. Well, the trouble is, I don't want to disband armies that are, that are interesting. Like Marlow York, your army is no longer required. To be honest, so many units are no longer actually required. Did that disbandment break my sound? In terms of my effects, maybe. Hmm. Well, let's hit end turn then. How odd. Don't normally have the... It's not very often that the sound breaks on the, on the campaign level. Yeah, Persia, they've still got some, some oomph behind them. But if they decide their best course of action is to leave the city... Haha, <laughs> we killed a Persian spy trying to destroy one of our buildings. Ooh, uh, now I've already fought that one before. Blip. How odd, though. It's strange that we've got um, sound issues on the campaign map. Like, yeah, it's not option sound. Okay, just a second, everyone. I'm going to save the game and reload it. Just a second. Well, that was weird. So I saved it and reloaded it. Yeah. Jules Bertie, push on to attack Zahedin. Robin Peterson, drive west. Sharky Stonehouse. Had, I mean, we can attack these Persians down here at Bandar Abbas, but I'm more interested in what's going on up here. 
Your Majesty. So if I drive two units north, that stops them from being too easily able to get up to no good and, sp and break through our lines. George Wade, keep planishing. Ian Stevenson's ready. Felix Dodd is ready. My named force is a few turns away from successfully taking the successfully taking Esfahan. I mean, you can s certainly see how much these guys aren't needed. Hillary Stanley. They are trapped. To be honest, I should probably just attack Agvatuk, get some progress in the North America region. Let's take them out. Let's take them out, let's take out the Inuit, then this force can resupply, and they can also advance with my named army as reinforcements when the time comes. But we very much are. You know, we're within an episode or two of ending this campaign. We're very not far away at all. Uh, did, did not give you... Did not... Add the artillery. That doesn't matter. The artillery is either in Boston or it's marching to Boston. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to matter. We have advanced gunnery. We have good cavalry, and we have rockets. So I'm going to have to do scouting with my cavalry and my general, most likely, to maintain to maintain the um, targets for my artillery. Chief's bodyguard and Native American lancers. Curacier, lead the way. Rockets away. Okay, let's see if their chief's bodyguard will come around to intervene. I don't think they will. Focus on the native lancers in that case. Quick climb, go after whoever you can really, and by rockets. Halt and fire at will as well. Stand up guards and at him. Oh yeah, they're charging all right. Ooh, this combat has a chance to go awry. Getting bogged down by, um, getting bogged down by their, by their cavalry, so their melee infantry can get us. New men form square, run my cavalry through the square, run my light infantry back. Artillery, blast them with square, blast them with canister shot, I should say.
Dragon within range. Attack ground. Attack ground with my um, cap with my artillery. That's exactly the right spot. Don't necessarily want them attacking the men in combat because that could cause them to do not what I want them to do. Charge my Cressier into the Warrior Society, my Light Cavalry into the Tribal Gunners, that should be enough. Cressier into the Tribesmen. Medicine Men are sat there loitering at the back. Cressier into the Warrior Society. Line Infantry. Break off the attack, push my Line Infantry forward. My light cavalry, if they can beat the tribal gunners, that'd be perfect. You men can try fire at will, because you'll fire at an angle into the back of the warrior society. Nope, you got sucked into that combat. Armed tribesmen shattered. Fall my cavalry back, because the medicine men are pushing on the, r on the left. Artillery switched around shot, engage the medicine men. Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so the enemy position has broken. Get my men back because the armed tribesmen are getting ready. Get my cavalry to chase down the medicine men as quickly as they can. Our howitzers. Engage the chief's bodyguard at range. I was hoping my guys would take this opportunity to reload and pour fire on them, which they have. Yeah, they made it to the lines though. Probably going to be guys in the woods somewhere. Let's find out. I did want my cavalry to chase down the the enemy infantry while they are routing. Yeah, my light infantry came back, even though I quick lined the crap out of them. Charge some of this cavalry into the medicine men. Yeah, like medicine men aren't, aren't a bad melee unit, but look against a rate bog standard cuirassier unit, they're just done. That's going to be everyone after the general. probably speed up time a little bit because right now they might they could well route from artillery fire at this point hello there the rest of them are but they're just <laughs> they're just bowmen so they will fall under the concerted effort of our Gunfire. I've got a unit of warriors here. They're in good shape. Not good enough shape to be happy with taking all that gunfire. Can 
the native warriors are well they're not not pushing away that's the wrong word but they're avoiding the battle send my general in because they're wavering there we go and they're broken so let my general continue with that personal victory Curiosity here against a small number of native tribesmen. Do not foresee those chaps sticking around for an awfully long time. Chief's bodyguard has marched within musket range. So finally we can start to see some action here. Yep, yeah, there goes the chief's bodyguard. falling upon my flank but this regiment of foot's not letting them have an easy time of it rocket fire let's get them to stop bring our cavalry from the left over into the action. That unit is broken, but they probably won't come back. Charge into both these units here. The warriors have broken. The medicine men are wavering. Yeah, they too have fallen. Obviously, there's some determination to not. Oh, there's hidden musketmen. Well, not so hidden anymore. Bowman, Bowman Warriors. Now they're the Warriors, so the Bowman can go onto the right flank. This chap's just going to cut down a few of those guys. Musketmen have gone silent again. Okay, attack the native warriors, send some men in to help them out. Let's cease fire, lots of stuff. You men attack the bowmen. The musketmen have been exposed from simply being... Well, they've been uncovered, so they must retreat. Native American warriors have broken... Looks like it's going to be everyone against this garrison bow unit. So let's just... I hate it when they do that. When they do this whole... They slowly run away until your men turn. And then they come back again. It's like, oh, for God's sake. New men push up aggressively against the musket men to make sure they don't go stealth, get stealthed again. They're trying to get over here to regroup and support the bow unit, but they are not going to be able to get away with it. There we go. The garrison has cracked. Fear not. We are not your enemy. We are here to rule your settlement. We're here to bring you into the Empire. So, Hillary Stanley, replenish, let's upgrade the fur exchange. Let's get some roads built and let's get this port town. Well, let's get just the regular town popping. Good stuff. So, then back here in Europe, we got, well, we got some action. So, I might make Hillary Stanley. No, Jude Abbott, sorry, not Hillary Stanley. Jareth is not in range. But he's going to advance up into range. And Mr. Abbott is going to engage 
a Persian force here where they have significantly fewer men um, than they did in an earlier battle. But we're going to degrade and destroy this force, leaving our named force able to march in and attack the city. So let's destroy, but probably, the remaining component of uh, Persian power near the capital. All those men near Bandarabas are slightly surplus to requirements. And could probably be, quite easily be, uh, destroyed. <laughs> no, I, might, I could just sail them all to the, uh, <laughs> to the, uh, the Midwest <laughs> and just send a wall of redcoats to swarm the last territory. Or it's, you might cut us down, but there will be 20 more redcoats per every one you kill to take our place. So, Mr. Abbott, you have done sterling service for your empire. So we're going to put two men, in, two guns in the form into the the line. Stretch out some units onto the flank to provide a bit of cover. My light infantry are going to deploy ahead of the guns to drop down some stakes. And I've got my pikes and my cavalry on the flanks. Some, got a good component of howitzers. So they are coming in from all directions, including back here. I hear a charge. Yeah, they're going after my um, light infantry. New man form square. Oh no, is a f god damn it. A f artillery unit exposed. I remember I remembered leaving one free because the idea was I was going to drop it back here. But watch these nomads if they make it to our line. Shrapnel shot at the 41st. Shrapnel shot the 29th coming in. Who are you aiming at? Aiming at those guns back there. Big mistake, Buster. Horse guards attack the Feline Musketeers. Square uh, canister shot it is. Horsemen are charging. If they leave it too late to push in, they'll they'll go and hit our uh, hit our square hit our um, stakes. Gunner crew run away. Should not have left my pikes. Get these pikes over here. Throwing my Swiss Guard in. Keep blasting that unit with squ with canister shot. Okay, now you're fighting the Lancer unit. Got a unit of musketeers to engage with my howitzers. Get my howitzers to attack the men coming in on the left. You men form up, you men attack the 41st with canister shot. 
get my stakes up here. Oh yes, please do, General. Got some little pointy sticks just here for you. There we go. Nice work, Feline. Okay, let's get everyone sends my artillery back. I mean, my curious, my curiosier here have done an exceptional job. Okay, you guys can get back to manning the guns. Feline on the right are advancing. Let's give them some artillery fire as well. The unit of horsemen here, that could cause the death of my cuirassier. But I get the distinct impression that the enemy's losses are more significant than my own. Actually, you guys might just run. Let's give you my right flank a Swiss pike unit back. Yeah, this cavalry unit was camel gunners. They're getting shot at by the horsemen. But I think we've reached a stage in the battle where we can now deploy against the reinforcement armies coming in, rather than staying wedded to where we were. Send my cavalry to chase down that Feline unit just a little bit more. Even ceasefire, just to get as many of them reloaded as possible. Then open fire! <laughs> there's one last... Oh, there's one, one of the guys over here that got him. was not the right reaction. The foot guards should also pour a volley into the camel gunners, which they did. Hurrah. Don't need anything else coming in from that direction. Oh, here's the where the numbers are coming in. Afghan Hillman up top. There we go, there we go. The Persian infantry. Again, they've been they have experienced the deadly fire of the British Red Coat previously. Cavalry can support the left flanks, it looks like. Once this unit's been dealt with, we're not going to have any more problems. Let's get some cuirassier up high on the right flanks, get my Swiss pikes over here. 
got a union of Afghan hillmen advancing. So I might actually put my cavalry, my generals behind the line, but my regiment of horse push up the left. So the new men form line. Skirmishers advance. My regiment of horse start running. Howitzers keep the fire up. Oh, the musketeers, they've lost a lot of men. Very nice of them to not look at us. Sure looks like there. there's no one coming in on the left, so let's just... Let's not get too crazy. Because of Bashi Musketeers up on the hill. To be honest, I think if I push a pike unit up here as well, that'll deal with most of the men that come from up here. My light infantry can engage the Afghan hillmen. The Afghan hillmen have gone around the flank of my formation, but that's okay. They're firing into the flank of my formation until my heavy cavalry show up. It looks like that is the end of the troops coming in on that flank, so let's make my men advance up onto the right. Switch my howitzers to round shot just to prevent any. Just prevent too much fratricide. My cuirassiers are going to smash into the hillmen. They did not like that one bit. No, sir. Hmm, got some skirmish horsemen coming in. Form Pike Square. You don't normally get to form Pike Square. Not that I think they're going to have time, but whatever. We're losing pikemen, but not as fast as they're losing horsemen. Desert Warriors coming in, Isseralia coming in. Okay, let's pivot this line. Like so pivot you guys like so get my pikes back get my cavalry back get my light infantry back these men that are very tired they're gonna have to run even though they're gonna be exhausted they're gonna need to run just pivot Actually, you men. Get back to safety. Get our howitzers to work on some of these units coming in. So you've pivoted, you can now unlimber and with round shot begin engaging the 24 pounders. Where did you... hold on. Where did you come from? Because it looks like you must have charged down from up here somewhere. Well, if you... Well, these guys are routing up here. Oh, if they did, they did. They're probably not going to kill my... Curassier. you, my gun crew back here, engage that 24 pounder unit. Oh, they are still losing. Let's 
once repelled the Felain. New men crash into the rear of the native lancers. Surprise! My marines getting into position. Looks like you guys might actually try to be trying to support the charge. Oh god! So that's going to repel them. No trouble. Get my pikes behind the line so my marines have a clear field of fire against the desert warriors. You men are pouring fire into the Felain. Artillery's not yet scored any hits against the 24 pounders in the distance. Okay, all of you, except for the cavalry, form line. My cavalry. Push down the flank and attack that 12, 24 pounder in the distance. My regiment of horse advance. Pikemen and musketeers advancing. I do like it when they run like this. Hup, 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 hup. <laughs> Curacier, take out the twenty, the twelve pounder. These units are about to break. All my howitzers engage the Israeli. This gun team is now in position. You can unlimber. They'll fire round shot at the artillery, but don't think to be honest, I might actually just not make them fire at all. It's the Israeli and the Feline musketeers that are sticking around. Against their better judgment. Cavalry surrounding the artillery position. Actually, you guys have orders to attack them, so let's specifically halt fire, because they're not firing at will. That unit up there is still the cavalry unit routing. So all that's left is this unit of Feline Musketeers. Oh, and a unit of desert warriors. So let's spread the love. Okay, make all the love land on the desert warriors. Because that unit is broken already. Good men. Good decision. Awesome. So that's probably, well that looks like it should be the bulk of Persian power destroyed outside of Esfahan. And that will leave the run clear for my men to advance. Yeah, just fragments. By the left, but so Mr. Patterson, give him an order to attack um, Esfahan. Yes. You chaps, they shouldn't be able to run past you, but even if they do, there's another Lewin Mayhew. Get him into Ardbill just to prevent any mischief. Unfortunately, we've got okay roads to get into theatre. You're not in range. You're not in range. Everything here is done. Yes, my lord. Theoretically, I could make Mr. Abbott attack the city, but I don't want that. His job is to uh, provide bodies. Same with Mr. Hutchinson. His job is also to provide bodies. Okay, let's hit enter and see how the AI reacts to things. No, Jude Abbott, you can no longer fit that cavalry unit in there. 
That's right, Russia. Just go home. We're on every border of yours. There is no reason to do anything clever. The core of their fighting power is gathered to the north. All hands on deck. Ooh, do I want to see how much, how long one unit can repel a bunch of Persian armies? I think I've kind of got to fight it. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to watch Felix Dodd stand his ground and repel um, quite a significant Persian attack. Cheers everyone.